Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my case clicker videos. This video here is my second match betting video, and what I'm going to do in this video is three things actually. I am going to start out by showing the wins based on the bets that I placed in the first video. Then I'm going to be trading away the eight highest valued items I won to you guys based on the comments you left to my video the last video and then i'm going to be placing new bets that you guys have a chance at um getting uh, some wins on i'm calling it wins i'm meaning trade aways meaning that i will be offering you guys a trade with one item one of the highest valued items in the next video if you leave a comment here because i cannot give things away for free you do need to add like 70 percent of the value but you can split it into 20 items and in that way get more value and higher valued item for many junk items. So that is what I can do. So to summarize, running through all the goodies I won here um, from the bets I placed a few days ago in the match betting system, uh, probably just about a day ago, but anyway, just showing you guys the wins um, because that is like what I think could be cool to do in this series to to place the bets and also show the wins or if I lose and I'm gonna be losing some of them at some point possibly even <laughs> already tomorrow but showing you guys what I bet where I place the bets and what I win if I do win and then after that trading away some of the highest value items I win placing new bets so Moving down, I was able to place 15 bets and I won them all because I did bet really on the, on the same thing and I'm doing that again uh, in this video today. So once I'm done grabbing all my wins here, I will trade 8 items away and then I will place new bets on the same team with the same chance to win and the same like uh, prize amount. And then I'm going to be doing a follow-up probably tomorrow. And those of you that are interested in having a chance at getting a trade with the highest valued items from this, leave a comment with your NetHub ID and I will be uh, selecting based on that. Today, after this video, I'm doing my last trade away with the Karambit Fades. Um, and this here is one of the things I'm going to be doing instead and the reason for that is I do not have unlimited items um, I'm not sending you ninja duped items um, so I cannot keep doing that <laughs> even though I really wish I, I could but I can't so um, after this here the last trade away video is coming uh, giving away my five last Karambit Fates today I think it's five um, and then I will be doing these match betting videos, hopefully on a daily basis. Trading way based on that, I will also be doing some some jackpot series, and also like using those as a basis for trading away with you guys. Um, so it's like adding adding more transparency to the trade. You can actually see where the item I'm trading you is coming from. Sometimes I may be in beep luck, like if I lose my match bets, I won't have anything to trade away from them, then I won't be doing any. Um, so it's, um, it's a new way I want to do things, and at the same time, hopefully allow you guys to, if you're interested, mimic my bets or bet the complete opposite if you think the decisions I'm making are completely horrible um, so that is like the thought behind the new new series here really and I think we're closing in on an end here no we have loads loads of loads of loads of wins which is cool um, the return value on these uh, match bets that I'm making is not that interesting but that comes with me trying to bet towards getting a higher chance at winning. Um, I learned a great deal about this system from you guys, from the comments you posted. Um, main thing is 
highest percentage is not the highest chance to win. It is just the team with the highest amount of bets placed on it. So that, that was like really useful information, knowing that um, I'm not really betting on the statistical highest chance to win, but just the team that most people or well, the highest value has been bet on. But guys, this was uh, the last amount that I am uh, getting back. So what I'm moving on to now is the next part of the series, and that is trading away the wins to you guys. And as with many of my other trading videos, I am doing it based on the amazing comments you have been leaving me. What I'm doing this time around here is to trade and show you guys the items uh, like this here. So first trade your bids are great man, love the case clicker ones the most. Can you send me some knives though, I'm low on knives at the moment and I'll take anything just as a falling spinning pen. I hope it didn't break your speakers guys. So definitely and this is trade number 8, meaning the 8th lowest valued item that I got. Minimum wear, falcon knife, stat track, fade, valued at 393.72 dollars. So it is coming there, added to the trade, hope you can use it, if not, there's a cancel button. So that was the first trade, but the lowest one next up here guys is, bum, 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 bum. yeah it's coming, don't worry, it's coming. Field tested how, 393.72 dollars at the time of recording, I lost a ton in the jackpot, can you send me some items, I will take everything. So I'm just doing one item and um, I will continue to offer just a single item in this type of trade away videos, so I'm doing 8 today because I also needed trades for the trade away video and some to complete some broken trades, but I may do more in the future like 20 or something like that. But I also need to win some interesting items for it to make sense. So, um, but in this video it's gonna be eight, and the second is now added to I sword six five seven. Yes, it is. So, trade number three here. So it's an I buy power holo sticker. Send me some items, thank you in advance generous dudes, so I'm pretty sure that is an open invitation to all of you if you are interested in uh, trading. I cannot give things away, it's a trade so you do need to add something in return, about, I don't know, 300, but you can split it into the 20 items and send some junk in return, I will accept it uh, regardless. I know getting a sticker is probably less interesting than a knife. But I'm really just basing this on, on value in this video. Uh, not sure if that is the best way moving forward, but leave me some feedback, guys, then I can uh, adapt. Next up here, Minimum Wear Howl. Oh, yes. Hey, I'm you on Case Clicker. You are the one that inspired me. Please give me some items. Lucky X 107. This time around, I had a pending trade. You sent me a trade request. I decided to do something that I never do and that was to find it because normally I just really move on but uh, I found it and I made the tris trist yeah the trade there instead please don't do that guys because it's uh, in the future I'm going to do what I normally do and that is just to not do that trade because my list of trades is like huge and I cannot um, I cannot set aside time to look at it all uh, I tried to do some trades but it's 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 a huge list, guys. So please don't. Um, next up here, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, factory new M9 bayonet marble fade. Also definitely a knife that I like. Pink dragon nine five three. I just bet all my knives and won so much. Congratulations on that and thank you, Riley Magan, for the many, not the many, but the very amazing information you posted about the match betting system. Very helpful, very kind of you to uh, take out the time to uh, help me out, learn the system better. So, um, yeah, really, thank you very much for that. Coming your way in the trade, even though you may not really need it, but uh, you did write down your net hub. So, coming your way is an M9 Bayonet Marble Fade. 
So that leaves just the three highest valued items left for the trade. Once I uh, move on here. So coming up here, the third most expensive field tested dragon law merry christmas Luca. have a good one i would trade you lots of stuff for xmas but i don't have anything well best weave 839 don't you worry about that i had an amazing christmas and i am going to offer you this one here and i do hope that you do have enough left to be able to accept the trade i hope you and everyone else had a freaking awesome amazing lovely jolly cherry amazing christmas so just two trades left guys the two most expensive items i won unless i missed something but coming up here minimum wear medusa added to the trade please choose me i lost my karambit fade you have inspired me to do youtube vids of case clicker i did choose you and coming your way is a medusa minimum wear valued at 549.86 in-game bucks and if you guys are interested in checking out another channel with case clear videos there is a definitely a reference here absolutely amazing that you guys are doing uh, loads of case clear videos i love it i really do it's so cool for us to share the fun so last trade guys in uh, in this here before i do the daily bets in a new match factor a new how valued at 566.96 bucks oh yeah please can i get something because i'm losing everything always i can't win on jackpot that's uh <laughs> that's pretty uncool i'm not sure if i can help you win with the jackpot by making this trade and i do hope you have the value to actually accept it so um yeah but it is the highest valued trade being done in this video so um congratulations on it i do hope it will be of use to you so guys that was um that was this part of the video series the next part here is new trades what i'm showing now is how i bet today in the match betting and it's um I'm looking into explosive because they have the highest percentage um, and I do like feeling safe but also it's a CSGO minor it sounds somewhat official <laughs> I was like really uh, interested in betting in there yeah I mean I looked and it was 0 18 for one I just figured that's way too little value I need to win more so I checked out this 99 league and um, that was where I decided to do all my daily bets um, just skipping the first part of my inventory here because I am saving it for the trade away video and then just adding in item after item after item 20 items in 15 bets all placed on the same team here um, 0 0.32 return yeah I mean it's not awesome but I feel safe I I don't know I feel like when I'm betting above 70% here I feel pretty safe even though I know thanks to you guys that the percentage has nothing to do with the skill it's really just based on the like how much value is bet on on the team but I, I mean I'm just going with the, with the majority of the bets here and uh, in that placing all of my bets on ducks with uh, oh yeah now 035 so that's better I guess it's gonna be pretty much the same as as what I did yesterday meaning that starting bet was like 10,000 and then I'm moving down as my inventory thins out and I'm ending somewhere I don't know like in the 5,000 area so my return value is probably averaging around 3,000 so once again if I win it's gonna be around th like I don't know 30 40,000 and if I lose it's really gonna blow but yeah then I'll have a <laughs> really 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 good reason to uh, to farm the jackpot system even more so um, I actually only need to win this two days uh, okay three days in order to have one the same value as I'm staking so if I win this and I can do similar bets tomorrow and win those as well 
I will be on a break even if I lose. <clears throat> and I would really, really like to do that because then I will know that I will just be like playing on profit, so to say, uh, from that point on. And that would be that would be freaking awesome. So I'm really, really, really hoping that the bets I'm placing here on ducks isn't the worst idea ever. Um, if you guys know, <laughs> if you're sitting out there and you're like, holy freaking moly, that dude just placed bets on the losing team and the reason why they have so many bets is because they are the underdogs or you know something do I want to know of course I do <laughs> uh, not that I can change anything because I have placed the bets but it would be nice to know it sure would um, one day I may go like bet against the mainstream but for now I, I hope to like if I can secure the value times two so that I have profited double of what I'm staking that would be really amazing because then I will have value to begin fooling around a bit more uh, on a bit more risky stuff just you know, for the fun of it but we'll see how it goes really right now I'm just flooding in bets and crossing my fingers it's gonna be like I'll know tomorrow. <laughs> it just says uh, it's tomorrow. The the matches. So whenever tomorrow it is, uh, I'm always recording these videos after midnight anyway. So I'm pretty sure the match will have been completed when I have the time to record the video, and then I will um, cry or be crazy happy. No, I won't cry, but perhaps I will. Nah, nah. I just might. I just might because it's, it's actually a great deal of value I'm adding. I'm not adding in the Knights even though they have a really good value. I'm a bit... Um, I have like different opinions on the Knights right now. They have such a high value that I don't really want to use them trying to make dragon laws uh, in the contract system because they are crazy expensive but at the same time if I can use them with other pinks just put in one of them and get dragon laws every once in a while it may be a good idea but I'm thinking about using them just for for jackpotting really because they have a pretty decent value um, so I'm not really done deciding I may decide to farm some really cheap pinks and try to contract them like with nine of the cheap ones and just one knight in there hoping to make some really cheap good dragon laws but yeah, I don't know it's gonna be it's a work in progress right now I'm just saving them up and at some point when I have loads I will decide what to do with them because I'm winning them both in the match betting and in the jackpots so yeah I don't know if you have any cool ideas or if you know like the ideal pink you think it is to uh, to contract along with the knights like from a collection that is cheap or easy to farm in terms of getting a pink that can contract with with the knight then uh, be sure to let me know guys it would um, definitely be helpful i mean i do have my list of, uh, of pinkies but if you have like luck combining it with something specific, it's always uh, interesting information. I have been um, I've been using the dragon, not the dragon laws, the knights quite a bit with like the P2000, um, like stuff from the Bravo case because it was like I can get a koi, fire serpent, or dragon law, and I think that's I mean that's pretty decent. I'm thinking about the new revolvers as well because the paladin had a very nice value so it would be like a consolation prize but I, I don't know a lot of that has stat track on it as well so it's probably a bit harder to farm since I don't open cases without a stat track guarantee so I reached my uh, daily limit here meaning that 15 bets placed 15 wins and 8 tradeaways made Thank you guys very much for all your help, your amazing comments, for being absolutely crazy, supportive, awesome. Hope you had a merry, merry, amazing Christmas. And um, I hope you guys have uh, even more cool 
information for me about the match betting system or just to see a few comments from you guys that are interested in uh, getting a trade away on my uh, next video here. As always guys, thank you very much for watching.